The School of Business and Public Administration first opened its doors for University of Guam students over 15 years ago. Over the years, it has helped develop many successful businessmen and women, all of whom departed the university with either a degree in business administration, accounting, criminal justice, public administration, or a professional MBA. But as the years have passed, the building has also added other free services that are incredibly valuable to local business owners and entrepreneurs. Dr. Annette T. Santos, the Dean of the SBPA, elaborated on the inclusion of the Small Business Development Center and its role in serving the community. We are a proud host of the Pacific Islands SBDC network. So that includes the Guam SBDC, and all other SBDCs across the Micronesia region. There are seven SBDC centers under this uh, network. So anyone who's interested in starting up a business has access to free consulting and business advisement with uh, the advisors that we have uh, in this building. They are currently um, accessible online, so just look up uh, the information on the Pacific Islands Small Business Development Center Network um, website. Just Type in Pacific Islands SBDC and you'll get to their, uh, their link. Uh, but they uh, provide a wealth of, um, of information, uh, resources to anyone interested in starting up a business. They're also currently occupied helping um, businesses recover. Uh, so there are opportunities for training and workshops to help those small businesses who are in need of funding. So they're providing assistance to those businesses uh, to avail of those uh, CARES Act funds so that they can continue to sustain themselves in, in a number of ways. While the SBDC is an integral resource for local small business owners, it is not the only free resource hosted at the SBPA. Well, what's tied into Pacific Island Small Business Development Center Network is the Women's Business Center. So we have the a business um, advisor who's specifically focused on uh, women interested in starting their businesses. But we are also host to the Guam Procurement Technical Assistance Center. And their uh, mission is slightly different from Pacific Islands SBDC Network. Uh, their focus is mostly on um, assisting local businesses uh, to be able to work and avail themselves of uh, federal contracts, government contracts. Uh, so they also offer um, a different set of training and workshops for local um, residents who want to take advantage of that and are interested in working with the government. While the School of Business and Public Administration has provided these resources for the community to reach their business-related goals and dreams, the school continues to work with local companies and organizations in the quest to answer some of the island's bigger problems. We also uh, pride ourselves in the partnerships that we have with members of our, our local and regional community. We are partners in government-related um, uh, research and studies, activities related to entrepreneurship and new business startups, and also service engagement. There are many important issues confronting our community and we definitely are right there. There's not a name on our faculty that you will mention that people will not be familiar with. Uh, so I appreciate the partnership, the membership, and support of, of our community. And uh, we continue, uh, we look forward to continue to working with them and building, um, building on that value of partnership. With many prominent industries on Guam being turned on its head due to COVID-19, it is important that future generations identify sources of revenue for the local economy quickly. With the vast array of degrees and resources available for island residents at the SBPA, these previously hidden opportunities are beginning to bloom. For Guam's News Network, I am Kenson Nicholas.